Hi, yeah, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails, and in this video, I'm going to be doing some wintry nails. So, the kind of would they would you think they're Christmassy? Not really. Not really. Are they? no. They're winter ones, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're winter ones. So, I have got one of my clients, Kirsty, with me to have her nails done. Thank God, you've been waiting, mm -hmm. haven't you? Waiting and waiting and waiting. So, I've already put on her acrylic. So, we've got um, a base of Milan acrylic, and now we're going to do the nail art. So, I'm going to clean them first. I went blank then, totally blank. So, I'm going to use some green cleaner and a lint free wipe, and I'm just going to give them a clean because they've all been fired with everything, they're a bit dusty. So, we're going to put on some nail art and some glittery, shiny. So I'm going to start this side with a little finger. So I'm going to get one of our silicone pads. I'm going to wipe this before I start with my green cleaner because it picks up all sorts of dust and fluffs and all sorts of stuff. So I always wipe it before I start. And on this little finger I'm going to use something new. So. It's called Miss Ellie and it's from the Dollar Shimmer Collection. It's gold and it's sparkly. And I looked. <laughs> so this is going to be on her little finger. Ooh, so shiny. And then we're going to do some wintry nail art. So this nail art, that I've actually seen it. Somebody posted something really similar on Instagram. So it's inspired by the nails that they did. I can't remember at this moment exactly what they're called, but Joanna will link it in the description below. So you can see where I've got it from. <laughs> so I'm going to use, not that brush, I'm going to use my Lord brush for my gold shimmery gel. And I'm going to use my Artiste brush and my 15mm liner and my Vice Versa brush as well for our nail art. So first I'm going to start with my base, so on this finger I'm going to do a base coat of I-156 which is Retort White, so I'm going to do it nice and thin. Just stick that in there for a few seconds just to give it a little blasty wasty so we don't go anywhere. So I've got my coat of I-156 on here and on my little finger is where I'm going to put Miss Ellie. So we've got a nice gold sparkly nail. When you're using this it's better to do two thin coats rather than do a big thick massive coat and hoof it on um, because you want to make sure it's obviously cured through properly. So I'm going to pop that into cure for 60 seconds. Now that's cured, I'm going to do a second coat of both of these. So we've got a nice coverage. So now they've cured, I'm going to come on to sorting out our palette for our nail art. So I'm going to get out some Miss Ellie, I only want a little bit onto my silicone pad and then I'm going to use I-68 I-68, <laughs> I'm also going to use I-51 which is black and I'm going to mix it with some rock plus light at a certain point because we want to kind of like dilute the black colour down so I'm going to get, if I can find it, <laughs> where is it? My Alombre brush. I think I want that, but I'm not too sure, we'll see. So first off, I'm going to decant a bit of I-68 onto my silicone pad. And I'm going to use my vice versa brush to apply this onto the nail. So I'm kind of going to frame it really with this grey colour. So 
So I'm just starting off by painting it around the cuticle area. I'm kind of doing like a like a cuticle cuff in grey. And then I'm going to use my El Ombre brush to drag it down a little bit. I picked up some extra colour as well, I wanted it to come down a little bit further. Then I've got a little, it's just like a little bit of sponge. I don't even remember what sort of sponge this is. It's one that I found in my drawer. <laughs> And I'm just going to tap that little edge. And once you're happy with it, shove it into cure, just to flash cure for a few seconds, because you will find that it'll move a bit. So you can see you've kind of got it sort of fading at the top. You've got it a bit dark with the cuticle, and then it sort of fades out a little bit. And I'm just going to use the sponge just to apply it to the free edge as well. I'm going to drag it up again slightly with my El Ombre just because I want to keep the colour that's already there at the bottom darker so I don't want to put my sponge on that too much so I can just sponge it over the bit that's sort of been dragged up. You can if you want get your client to turn their hand around um, which is easier but if I get Kirsty to turn the hand around you won't see it. <laughs> and then once you're happy with your sponge grey that you've put on, pop it into cure for 60 seconds. So now that's cured, I'm going to mix some I-51 and some Rock Plus Light together to dilute it a bit so it's a bit more sort of sheer. So I'm just going to blop some out and then some Rock Plus Light. I'm going to give it a mix with a dotting tool and see what the colour looks like. And then once you've got it to how you want it, this is what we're going to use to paint some trees. So I'm going to use my 15mm liner brush and I'll probably use my artiste brush and my vice versa as well at points and we're going to do some trees. So I'm just going to drag my 15mm liner through my paint that I've mixed I'm just going to do a straight line And then another one. These are trees that are kind of in the background. And we're going to add some more that will be darker, like in the foreground. I'm going to pick up some more and do some branches over the top. And I just want the branches of the tree kind of going over the top of the nail. And once you're happy with them, just pop it into cure. I'm going to put another small little tree, still with this sort of sheer mix that we've done. I'm going to put it in the background here. So I'm going to do a little line and some branches, some wispy branches coming up. And I'm going to pop that into cure again. And then once that's cured, I'm going to add a bit more Rock Plus Light to the mix, the sheer mix that we've done to make it even more sheer. So I'm not going to mix the whole lot, I'm just going to mix like a corner of it. 
So I've got a real sheer black. And then to apply it, because I'm going to cover it over the nail with this sheer black mix, you can use um, any gel brush really. And I would use probably my Lord brush if it wasn't so glittery. <laughs> I've glittered it. So I'm just going to wipe off the brush that's in my I-51 and I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to scoop up this mix that we've made. and paint it over the whole nail so you can still just see your trees through that you've done but they're nice and faint and then once you're happy with it you can pop it into cure for 60 seconds now that has come out of the lamp so we've got our little faint trees in the background going on it's all quite dark and mysterious now I'm going to top coat it in matte because the main part of our design is going to be over the matte top coat and it's going to be shiny. So we've got a bit of both. Ooh, I can open the bottle. <laughs> so I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat because I love it. And then pop into cure for 60 seconds. So now that's cured and it's all nice and matte, we're going to move on to the next part of the design, which I'm going to do with a mixture of the black no wipe gel paint and Miss Ellie from the Dallas Shimmer Collection, which is what we've put on the little finger. So I'm not going to lie, this is a bit of an experiment because I've not actually done this before. So Kirsty is going to be our guinea pig, aren't you Kirsty? Yes. And she's going to update us with how it lasts. So I will also put that in the comments as well, so you know. Because I've mixed both of those gels together. So I've mixed the black no white gel paint and Miss Ellie together. So I've got like a, if you can see that, it's like a gold, it's, it's black with gold flecks in it basically. And it looks really nice. So hopefully it wears well because I don't want to top coat this so this design that we're going to put on top I'm going to just leave it so it's shiny and then we've got the matte black background so I'm going to use first off my 15mm liner brush and just some of the black no white gel paint as it is not messed about with a mix of different stuff and this is what I'm going to put some more trees on with because I just want some other trees. And with the gel paint and your 15mm liner you can get some nice fine lines. So I'm going to do a stag in the middle so that's going to be the majority of our space. Come in Kirsty, keep going away from me. So that's going to be the most majority of our space taken up. So I'm going to do a tree in here. Doesn't have to come all the way down to the bottom because like I said, we're going to put our stag there anyway. And we're going to do one over to the side here. So I've done my main line with my 15mm and then I'm going to use my artiste brush to do the sort of branches and that over the top. So I'm just going to extend up from that line that I've done and just drag it out and make our branches nice and thin wispy and mystical so I saw these nails like I said in the beginning somebody had done some like this on Instagram um, which we'll link but also I was thinking in my mind and getting inspiration as well from The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe feel like it's very, yeah, quite like that, isn't it? Especially when I come on to do some of the others. So, now we've got our darker trees there. I'm going to put on, no, I'm going to flash cure it for a few seconds so it doesn't move. So now we're going to put on our stag. So I think of this in various pieces and shapes which helps me to paint things like this. 
wonderful random things. So I'm going to start with the head, neck and chest. I was trying to think of which part of the body it was. <laughs> so I think of like a pear, basically. So I'm going to paint a pear. I don't know where I've put it. So I'm going to move it off. And do it again. I didn't want it there. Okay. I want it over here a bit more. So, I'm back with the pair. Round bit at the bottom, and then I'm going to come up into a thinner. Part, which is like the top of the pair. Doesn't have to be dead straight lines obviously because it's an animal. So you can see now you've got a pair or a teardrop shape, however you like to think about it. Both really the same. Then I'm going to put a sort of circle shape at the top. For his head. Then the rest of his body is going to extend out to the side and connect to the side of your pear or teardrop and it'll round at the end. We're going to come in to put his ears and his antlers. So his ears are going to stick out the bottom under here a little bit. And then we're going to do his antlers over the top. He's got a bit of a big bum. So now that you've got your basic shape on, then you can come and tidy it up and tweak it and change any bits that you don't think are right. So I'm going to use my green cleaner and my vice versa brush. I'm just going to alter any bits that I'm not happy with. So his bum sticking out in a weird shape, put that aside. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then between his front legs at the front, I feel like it could come up a little bit higher, the gap in between. So I'm just going to shove it up with my brush. And then I'm going to add in his other leg at the back. out of the lamp and I wasn't really happy with it I'll be honest because I couldn't really see I couldn't see it enough so I've gone over it with some more Miss Ellie gold glitter gel because I wanted it to stand out a bit more and I like it much better now it is much golder and I think that that looks really good so I'm gonna put that into cure do it <laughs> Before she changes the mind. <laughs> so now that's cured, I am, because I'm worried about the fact that I might lose some of the gold and I don't want to, I am going to decant some no white top coat and I'm going to just run over that gold stag with some ultimate no white top coat to make sure it stays there. So I'm going to use just my vice versa and my artiste brush like I did. And then I'm going to put that into cure for 60 seconds. So now that's come out of the lamp, it is done. And I did also do a coat of Ultimate No White Top Coat on the gold pinky as well. So that is it. Done. Your wintry scene, stag and trees. And your gold pinky. And then in another video, you'll see the rest of Kirstie's nails. So that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Everything that we've used will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!